in this video, I'm going to show you the Intec Explorer 300 series inflatable boat. This boat can hold three people or, 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 and, or, <laughs> I guess it's, or 410 pounds. So that's something to consider if you're taking gear along with you. It's a pretty good sized boat. And when you look at it, you can see where maybe two adults would fit comfortably, maybe as child with those two adults or an adult and two children or three children. So I don't think three regular size adults would fit very comfortably, although it could be done for short periods of time. So when I ordered this boat, this is what showed up, this box on my porch and it had everything in it. And this includes a boat, a pump and two oars as well as a patch kit. So let me show you some of those things and how they come. So here is, this is easy, here's the patch. Okay, so don't lose that in case you get a little hole on some rocks or um, some shells or something while you're out there. This is nice to have. So I'm just gonna kind of throw that down because we're done with that. And then here's the pump that comes with it. This is a pretty good pump. You can see there, it is a hand pump. And that is beneficial because if you're taking the boat someplace where there's no electricity, then you can easily pump it up this way if you don't want to take it inflated because maybe you have some cargo space limitations. But if you're at home and you're just going to use it at home, it probably would be faster if you had like an electric pump of some kind. Um, it took me about 10 minutes with this hand pump to inflate it all the way, both the floor and the sides. So I don't really think 10 minutes is too bad. And I did have some help. I had someone stand on it while I did the pumping. Um, that's kind of a nice way to not have to work quite so hard. <laughs> Although we didn't do that the whole time. Like there were times when I held it like this or I could hold it with my feet. So it's a pretty good pump really. And it comes with this hose detached. So you see the hose detaches. It has these two ends, which help you to actually get the air down into the chambers because the chambers do have a little flap that stops air from going out too quickly. Another thing that's nice about this, I guess, is that you could take it along with you pretty easily. It's lightweight so that if you're out, maybe you're rowing out to an island or something and you wanna pump it back up before you leave, you could do that. One thing I would like to note is this just screws off. So if you're pumping your boat up and you're like, oh no, it came apart, all you have to do is just put it back together, just like that, okay? So it's a really nice pump. In fact, I think this is a nice tool on its own just to have around the house because, you know, sometimes you have those kids floaties and, or maybe adult floaties and different things that you uh, might need to put some air into, and this is a pretty good tool for that. So that, that's your pump that comes with it. Now let's talk about the oars. The oars are actually pretty decent. Um, I mean, this, is, this isn't what I would call like professional quality, but it'll get the job done. And they come in three pieces. So let me show you what that looks like and, and how you would put them together. So here is, actually they come in four pieces now that I think about it. Here's one piece, okay. And then there's this connector that comes off. Eventually we'll be getting it screwed off. There we go. There's the connector which fell on the floor. So there's that. And then the oar also screws off the actual paddle part. There you see it's, I had it tight. I have them tightened down pretty well because I don't want to get out on the water and lose them. But that screws off too, and this comes separate. So both oars come in these pieces. And this is the trick as to how they can fit it in that little box is, you see that's a pretty small footprint, right? So let's put them back together so you can see how easy it is. You just screw the, this in. And then you screw one end into your connector and then your other end into your connector. So really easy assembly. I mean, that's one of the things that's really nice about this boat is there's nothing difficult here. Really, if you buy this boat for your kids or your grandkids, they can put it together. You can check it before they go out just for safety, but it's really easy to put together, okay? So let's, I wanna show you how the oars connect in the boat also. I have this one connected because they do also come with a ring and I have a ring for that oar also, but you see the ring here, the little black rings and you slip them on and I say slip, it's more like you rest them on because they're a little hard. So rest with a W, W-R-E-S-T, which takes effort. You rest them onto here and they're really stable. I mean, those aren't going anywhere. And then you see how it holds it into the oar holder so that as you're rowing, it won't come out. So this is a nice safety feature 
where, you know, if you want to, when you get in the boat, depending on your dock situation, you might want to keep your oar on the inside. Once you're in the boat, you, you put the, the little ring on, screw it together, and you've got it connected right into your boat so that you won't lose it. And let me just get in the boat too, so you can get an idea of the size. See, here I am in the boat. I have plenty of room for another adult. Um, even, you know, if you sit, depending on how you sit, you can put a child here. Um, they can help you row. <laughs> or maybe you can put a child behind you, a child in front of you, and row. I had one of these when my, when my kids were small. There were three of us. And we comfortably went out on the lake in this boat. So uh, it's really comfortable. Um, you can, you know, you can change your oars depending on, you, you see how the cup of the oar is there. You can change whether you need, oh no, I need a backup or own, I'm gonna go this direction. So whatever it is you need to do, however your rowing motion is, uh, your oars will accommodate that, okay? So let me think what else I might be able to tell you. It feels pretty sturdy. Um, let's talk about weight when we go to pick it up. Get out of this boat. So when you lift, go to pick it up, uh, I've still got my oar on there. I should probably take that off, but that, it's like, it's like nothing. It's so lightweight. It's just an inflatable boat. So, you know, in some ways that's really nice. Um, our next step is we'll take it out to the water and we'll actually put in, get in it, row around a little bit so you can see how it performs out on the water. I'm kind of excited uh, to see how this thing does. So let's go out to the water and see what happens. Hello, so now here we are out on the water rowing our boat. I'm coming towards you. There we go. And see how easy it turns. I mean, that's really nice. So I feel like I probably should put more air in it. Um, it feels a little bit like soft. Um, so that's probably a consideration. But other than that, and I'm not sure how comfortable I would be for a long period of time. I think this is more for like, you know, just getting out here on the water, having some, having a good time. Let me turn myself around here. It, it actually doesn't handle too badly. To go forward. I'm going to turn myself around and go backwards the way that rowboats are supposed to go. You get to see my uh, my poor navigation skills. Here we go. There we go. All right. So let's try going on a little trip. Oh, it rows pretty easily. I was on the shore. Um, maybe I'm gonna try sitting a little bit differently. I feel like it's a little low in the back, but I'm just gonna like trust that since I'm right here by the dock. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. That's so much better. I highly recommend sitting by the back of the boat. And I'm really more used to kayaking. So this is a bit of a different motion for me. If you're used to kayaking, you may find that's the case too. I'm just going to see if I can uh, turn myself around and row toward the end of the canal. So keep an eye, see how I do. All right, here we go. Gonna have to crash into my neighbor's boat. <laughs> 